It can be overwhelming when you first think about putting your house on the market. So that's why in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a deep breath and let me show you how to get ready. Some people focus on the wrong things instead of just keeping it simple. So I'm going to break it down into four areas that's going to help you to net the most for your home. First, you got to remember that buyers, they approach the buying process with a lot of emotion and they're trying to visualize themselves in your home. And at the same time, they want to make a wise financial investment that will not force them to pour additional money into repairs for years to come. So with that in mind, you want to prepare your home for selling by minimizing your personal items. Otherwise, they could be a distraction and start prioritizing necessary repairs, deep cleaning your home and boosting your curb appeal. It's never too early to reach out. I can help you get started and we'll create a plan. Well, there's a multitude of factors that go into that determine your home value. First thing you want to take a look at is your local housing market and then dive deeper into what are the homes selling for in your subdivision. While comparing your home's features and square footage, another aspect to consider as you assess your home value is this interior. An upgraded home interior can be the key. Some interior upgrades are, some interior upgrades are popular to everyone and they're more likely to make an impression with a variety of potential buyers like kitchens, bathrooms, and flooring renovations are some of the top projects you can take on in your home are likely to give you a strong return on your investment when you decide to sell. And a newer energy efficient HVAC system and trendy living spaces converted from attics and basements are also very attractive updates in today's market. Hey there, I appreciate if you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. I do a new video every week on other videos like this or market updates and also videos on what's like living in the area. Number three, you might be thinking, should you do a building inspection on your home before you put it on the market? Well, not just a full blown building inspection, but for just a couple hundred dollars, you can find out what kind of repairs that you do need on your home. And this way, if there is any repairs needed, you yourself could be qualified to do the repair. But if a buyer gets a building inspection, which they're going to do, the building inspector, when he finds the repairs, he might suggest a qualified or a licensed contractor to do the repairs, which can cost you a lot more than needed if you only knew ahead of time. And many times when the buyer is viewing your home and they see the problems, their first thoughts are usually blown out of proportion on the cost of the repair. And they can even ask for a price reduction to cover the repair. So if you're not sure if you need to do an inspection, just reach out, we can discuss it. Due diligence, you organized and you cleaned it from top to bottom and it just boasts pristine condition. These homes go fast and they receive the most amount of money for their investment. Does that mean that you have to hire a staging company? Absolutely not. My intentions is to keep as much money in your pocket. Again, this would be a great time to reach out and I can help to set you up for your home to appeal to the biggest buyer pool out there to put the most amount of money in your pocket. What questions do you have? And stay safe.